welcome back to Quarantine Projects. I'm Alex, I'm the owner of Hello Yellow, and we customize everything. Um, today is our final Quarantine Project day, um, at least for this week. Uh, depending, on, depending on what my schedule looks like for next week, um, I may or may not you know, continue this maybe every other day, because um, doing a video every day is like a lot of work. Um, but it's really, really fun. I really like doing a project every day and like having a reason to do it. It's, it, it's exciting. <laughs> Usually I don't have like enough motivation to do a project even like two, three times a week. So to have like a reason to do it is nice. Even if no one is watching it. Although, thank you whoever my second subscriber was. Super exciting. <sighs> I asked yesterday if someone would subscribe just so that way I could get up to two and then last night or this morning I think I looked at it and I had two. Very exciting. My neighbors are looking at me weird again. So today's project is going to be um, one of those circle signs with a name on it and I made one in the past It's really dusty because it's been sitting out in the garage. I need to hang it up. Um, I made one for myself. It was actually my very first project I did when I got the laser and it went really good considering I had no idea what I was doing with the laser, but it definitely could have gone better. I learned a lot from that first project. Let me show you. All right, so like I said, it's super duper dusty, but this was my very first project. So it looks just like my car. I made sure of it. I tweaked a few things. So that way it had the same spoiler as my car. Um, and yeah, I think it turned out pretty darn good. I was like super excited about it. So I have another picture I'll show you with it. My mom holding it up in front of my car. So that's the kind of thing that we're going to be doing today. Um, I'm going to make a unicorn one though because I really, I have a ton of glitter downstairs that I want to use and so I figured a unicorn is the best way to use up some glitter. Um, so that is what we're going to do. We're going to make the little unicorn like sleeping hmm, face, you know, with the horn and all that and then put a name underneath it. Um, I'm going to do the name Sophia because that's like my go-to name to when I make things for like kids rooms um, just because I googled like most popular baby names in the last couple of years and Sophia has been at the top of the list for like four or five years. So there's got to be a Sophia out there somewhere that needs one of these. <laughs> um, so I set up my files last night and I, right before I started recording this, I sanded down my circle thing. So I just have to double check that the size is right and then we will paint the circle white, uh, like a gloss white, and then we're going to start cutting everything. So I've got everything cut out now and I need to paint it. Um, so I'm going to paint everything white first and then I'm going to paint it the color that it actually needs to be um, because the white will cover the really dark edge that it gets from being burned in the laser. Um, it'll cover that a lot better. So pro tip uh, for pieces that are big, you can just paint them as usual, but for when you have really small pieces like the little stars and the heart for the eye. If you make a roll of painter's tape and stick them all to it, they won't blow away when you spray paint them, but they're really easy to peel off once they're dry and it doesn't mess them up. So I've got all my pieces painted. I had to put one more coat of white around the edges of the circle. Um, so as soon as that's dry, I'm going to put it in the laser and that way I can mark all the spots for, um, like to show where everything goes so I know where to place everything. Um, and I'm going to hopefully have enough time to glitter the horn. 
so we will see. I'll come back out when it's dry. can see that you should be able to I'm pretty excited about it I think it's pretty darn centered which is awesome I'm kind of irritated by the knot in the wood on the right side but it is what it is I bought this piece of wood like a really long time ago and it's just been sitting here so that's why I decided to do this project um, normally I would find a much better piece of wood but the back was even worse so you may notice that we are now in a new room of my house. Um, this is technically my craft room, um, but now that I don't make a whole lot of cups anymore, I really don't have much of a need to come down here other than just to kind of like store things. If you hear my chair, it's really squeaky. Um, so my bad. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I picked out the pieces that I wanted to glitter. So I'm going to do the hot pink name and a little heart for the eye. And then I'm going to do all the little stars that go near the eyes and the horn pieces. Um, so I'm going to do all those real quick. I picked out a yellow glitter and a pink glitter, but as you can see behind my head, I have a lot of glitter. <laughs> um, and since I'm not doing cups a lot anymore, I really want to find reasons or ways to use the glitter more. So this is exciting. Um, so I've got some Mod Podge here and a little cup to put it in. Um, if you're using Mod Podge, especially with glitter, because this shit gets everywhere, make sure that you put it in a small container of some kind, throw away or not, doesn't matter. It, when it dries, you'll be able to peel it out if it's in like a um, silicone thing. I do have one of those too, but um, I don't feel like using it. Um, but that way, if you get glitter in this, you don't ruin the entire jar of Mod Podge. You just ruin a little bit of uh, little bowl that you have. So I'm going to grab some paper real quick so that way I can keep all of the old the glitter that doesn't stick on there and then we'll go ahead and glitter things. The only paper I could find, because I've I guess taken it all upstairs, is these two very wrinkly and ripped a little bit pieces of paper, but they work fine. <laughs> I was thinking, let me tell you some tips about working with glitter because glitter is beautiful, but glitter kind of sucks. Um, so here are two things. Um, I thought there were two. Now I can't think of the second one. Um, the first one, I recommend keeping a dry brush around. Um, this one, as you can see, has gotten some glitter on it over the years, but I've had this brush for two or three years now. You can't really see that. Um, the purple spot. Um, but with my shaker jars, I have that part, and in order to put the glitter back in, I have to remove the plasticky hole piece. Um, and so to get less on my hands and less 
everywhere. Um, I brush it off onto the paper first and then I pop it open and that way glitter doesn't kind of like poof into the air when it pops off. Um, and then I don't waste any because every glitter counts. So that's one. Oh, the other tip was when you are glittering something, if you can, definitely paint the thing whatever color you want it to be. Um, even if you're using a hot pink glitter, you still want to also paint your stuff hot pink or at least some kind of pinkish shade um, because the glitter doesn't cover every single section all the time and so if you have that color in the background it helps to kind of fake it a little bit and it makes the glitter just look so much brighter. If you were to glitter, especially like yellow and lighter colors, if you were to glitter yellow onto like just the plain piece of wood it would still have that like shiny look to it but it wouldn't be nearly as like yellow and glittery whereas because i did it on the painted yellow pieces it's like boom in your face yellow which i love <laughs> same with the pink i'm going to spray paint these with a clear coat just so that way i don't make as much of a mess on myself later when i'm trying to put all the pieces together and then we'll start gluing everything in place So it's done and it looks fantastic. You just saw the picture, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like again. It's huge. <laughs> like I knew that, but holding it up like this makes it look even bigger. <laughs> I love it. I think it looks great. There are a few things that I would tweak as usual, um, but overall, man, it looks real good. I would definitely fix that knot in the wood either fill it with a uh, like wood filler and sand it down or just find a circle board that didn't have a knot in at least one side but the back side had a bunch of weird spots in it too so it wasn't even worth it and oh, that's still wet and the other thing i would change is i forgot to make a file for the outline that i engrave into the sign um, and normally I do that in Illustrator and that's set into inches so things like make sense, you know, and light burn The settings for like the actual laser like how powerful and stuff it is goes by millimeters per second If you switch it to inches, it really makes me confused when it comes to the like settings for the actual laser to do the engraving and stuff so I just don't do that and so when I went to go do the outline thing in I made it a little bit smaller but I didn't realize that I made it only the tiniest bit smaller I was thinking like 0.1 inches and it was 0.1 millimeters um, so basically the outline is the exact same size as all the shapes so there was like no wiggle room at all and there's a couple spots that I wish you know got stuck on a little bit better but you live and you learn <laughs> So overall, I think it's super cute. I love making these, man. They are way cool. I like making all this stuff. Um, so yeah, I think it was a good day. It was a good week. I really like making all these things for you guys. Um, and 
I think I'm going to keep doing it, just finding more and more projects to do. It gives me, like I said earlier, that push to actually do things rather than think, oh, I should do that. And then like, I don't, <laughs> I just think about it. So I'm pretty excited. Um, next week, I think as long as my work schedule isn't like totally crazy, I'll probably try and do these videos every other day. That way I can record them and start to edit them on one day and then the second day actually finish them up and upload them. So I'm not putting them up at like eight, nine o'clock at night, but you know, it's what you gotta do to make sure that you can prove that everything can really be done in a day. Almost. Things would be better if I had two, three days to do them, but that's not what the goal of quarantine projects were. So, if you like me or my videos, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm up to four subscribers now. Super exciting. Um, and so go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you want to give me any tips on anything or just want to say hi, um, leave a comment. And I will see you all next week when I decide what new things I'm going to make. <laughs> Bye!